So you might notice I have mustache zero. You know, should I keep it, y'all? If you like the mustache, comment your favorite Shrek scene. I'm shooting a big music video in a few weeks, and I'm wondering if I should keep this. Should I look sneaky and sly? I kind of look like a cop, right? Like a sexy cop guy or something like that. Well, as you know, I have just put out an EP, six tracks, but as the entire EP is released, there was uh, an intro to everything. And there's this cool, very producer-like track. I'm really proud of it. There's not really that much guitar on it, but you know, I am more than just a guitar player, believe it or not. This track kind of puts everything that I love into like one thing. It's very experimental. So we're gonna go through the beats, sound design. We're gonna go through the vocals. We're gonna talk about the intro of the song at the end. We're gonna talk about the intro of the song at the outro. So let's look at it a little bit together. So the track starts with this very like, there's no tempo, just a bunch of sounds. The first inkling of time comes in at a little bit of this break. So this is actually two separate drum breaks put together. And then I just put isotope trash on it. And then when everything opens up, we have a kick, two snares that are layered together. The two drum breaks again, but with no distortion on them. Just some water, like this waterfall thing. John Casey's 808 Toad. And then I have a little bit of drum fills beforehand. Put it in. Yeah, boy. There's this little vocal sample that's kind of floating on top of it. That's to me like the hooky sort of sound of all of this. I would we don't even remember what this is. So I just recorded myself like singing, auto-tuned it, informant shifted it up, and I basically just found like a cool little section that I liked, and I was really hearing this rhythm. Da 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 I added it on top and put it all together. We got the rest of this drum break section with my vocals coming in. Breakdown section. We got my kick. This is a sample of me yelling with reverb on it. The death fan from Boston. Shout out Boston. Sort of vocal chop sample. And all that is side chain. The kick, of course. While I'm singing, there's all these weird little glitchy sounds. So you can see it says cleanse, scrow, stems, IDM shiz. This is like a glitchy percussive loop that I made by just taking a bunch of sounds that I have like this. I talked about how I made these sounds in another video that you can check out right here maybe. I chopped it up a little bit to kind of uh, match whatever this was for whatever reason. And then I just kind of put that over me singing. <laughs> I did the same thing in this next break. I took like a little glitch sound and I just repeated it a lot. I think that sounds so freaking sick. I love that vibe, that aesthetic, whatever you want to call it, that glitchiness. And here's one of the only times I even play guitar in this track. You can see there's a left and a right. And then there's a center. All together. How to do some guitar. I made the beginning of this track a long time ago, like a year ago or so, and I only finished it up like a week before I sent it for a distribution. And I was like, dang, I really got to do guitar because I'm trying to be guitar boy with all my weird IDM percussion-y production stuff. The cool thing about using samples for like these big impacts is that you're able to have these really tight cutoffs. Like I wouldn't be able to do that if I was using like a synth. I mean, you can, but it's just so much easier with samples just to like cut off the end of it and then it'll stop making noise. Big snares to give it more of a backbeat. And that snare sound is actually three sounds layered together. It's this, and this, and this. 
That's not even a snare. It's just like a weird glitchy sound. You put them together. Contact. Onto the trap section. I have these same weird like death fan, the yelling, the 808s to give every 808 in this section that really big like like impact sound. You know how when you listen to this it's kind of like drop that into the session, out of this water, out of the 808 and then put it all together with the very gnarly. So I have this like sample of me playing guitar and on the other side Together. And you can see I actually chopped it up to have just one of those beats, a more like sample-y sound, which I like a lot better. Honestly, the main event of the texture of this part of the track is this. So if I turn off all the post-processing, just like scrubbing through every single snare that I have, basically putting them on the grid. Added this isotope trash preset called Cranky Later, which is really giving it all that tone. And then used a little bit of a gate just on the end of it to make it a little bit snappier. And put it in the beat. I think that's definitely one of my favorite parts of this track. Then the last section of this, it's basically all of that production, a little bit stripped back, and then I add in some samples from the song that it's about to fade into. Quick little intermission. Is this good or not? Please tell me. I just went to the bathroom and looked at myself and I was like, Show a little bit of the vocals. So the main center vocals. Left and right. And the harmonies on the left and right. At this next little break section, you'll hear I like edited my vocals like very unnaturally. It's getting harder, harder to find myself. I'm doing this like almost manual side chaining thing. After I recorded myself and listened to it, I was like, don't like the way this sounds. Singing is weird. It doesn't really fit. It's not like weird enough. So I just basically made a chop at every beat. It's getting harder, harder to find myself inside my head. Same thing in the next part. Let's just listen to it. My heart doesn't feel like it used to before. gigantic flame absolutely fire so here's what that whole big vocal stack in the beginning sounds like normally like you used to before. i ended up changing the key after i recorded it and i was like i am not recording all those vocal stacks again so i have like two stacks this big white stack is like my chest voice which is like my talking my heart doesn't feel like it used and then this blue stack is like the falsetto my heart doesn't you can see they kind of like stair step in, so like every beat or so, another layer comes in. Another layer. 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 Another layer.
Same thing on the second section, but they all just pop in together. Um, I also added some sub bass to help out the low end and yeah. So I put that whole thing into a sampler. I can change what part it starts at with this plug-in, like whatever. And then I was just going like this and moving the thing around like this. And it just kind of sounded cool. So after that, I have this. There's a sample of me singing from the beginning we talked about. Did the same sort of like resampling idea, but I just added a little bit of filter and a different word. Added one of the lines back in right here. Ended up adding just this like synth pad, really simple. There's some like granular. So this like sound design thing, I don't think you can do this in any other program except Reaper. I have this chord and I can move the MIDI around while it's playing and it'll like glitch it out. So I can take like an entire like chord progression. I can press record and just print like this crazy. So I ended up with this. put that together with all my other stuff. Add this little ambient sound, little sweep that I made. And the Wii thing. And just singing with the pitch, form it shift up. Bringing the drum break here. Pop it into the full beat. I hope you liked this cool video that I made for YouTube.com. Um, this is the intro track to my EP called Like It Used To. It's my first EP ever. Please like and subscribe if you like me and want to subscribe to me. If you have any questions for me, feel free to comment them or come into my Discord. We could talk about it as a little family. A scrow family, a scrambly, a scramble eggs. Doesn't feel like it used to before. I ain't knowing what I did before. We're falling in water.